Thank you very much, Chair. Dear colleagues, this budget deal is historic for so many reasons. Because for the first time, we have a rule of law mechanism. We have a tool to fight back against democratic backsliding and to make sure that EU support reaches those who need it the most, instead of disappearing in the pockets of corrupted oligarchs. But our work is not done yet. We need to continue to be the voice of our citizens who witness the abuse of EU funds up close day by day and who have spent years calling on Europe to finally do something about it. We need to make sure that Europe continues to listen to them. This rule of law mechanism is not only a piece of legislation. It is a resounding commitment that Europe is ready to take action. Let me tell you, action could not be more urgent. I am sitting here in Budapest, where every day there is a new scandal breaking. Our country this morning woke up to the news to learn that the government is about to amend the constitution to make it easier to funnel public funds to oligarchs. They should be protecting lives, but instead they are protecting their own pockets. And up until now, EU action has been disappointingly slow or even completely absent. But now we have all European institutions, all major political groups lined up behind this commitment. Now there are no ifs, no buts, and no excuses. And let us remember, a few years ago, such a rule of law mechanism or new own resources only existed in the visions that were outlined by my fellow MEPs Guy Verhofstadt or Sophie Inetveld at the plenary of the parliament. And I was one of those EU citizens who was inspired by them and who kept on enthusiastically hitting the like and share buttons on social media. And now, thanks to this parliament, these visions are within our grasp. And it is very humbling to be present when this first draft of history is being written. This budget shows the stark difference between those who bet against the European project and those who never stop believing in it. Because even a few months ago, it was unthinkable that we will have a budget of this size and this ambition. And this was the bad of European populists. They have written the EU off. They believed that European democracy is losing and the future is creeping authoritarianism from Russia, China, or even Donald Trump's United States. But they were completely wrong. The best thing about liberal institutions is their capacity to constantly renew and reinvent themselves. And this is why Europe always rebounds. And this is why those writing us off could not be more mistaken. We will keep on fighting and no amount of midnight legislative crackdowns will be able to stop us. Thank you very much.